Hi, my name is Tom Lenz. I'm the owner and president of Lenz Field and Sports Complex. It's September 30th, 2013. We do a short video today, show you some of our all synthetic turf baseball fields, do a little demonstration on how our fields can handle water, and you can play immediately after it rains. So in a minute, we'll tour you up some of our fields and do a little demonstration. Thank you. Okay, we're back here on our main Big Field 1, we call it. We host college games here, high school games, play all age groups, boys on this field. This is our main field, hosts many championship games here. Today we got a couple of the players from McMurray College are out here working out today. And we're going to do a little demonstration here with some water and show you just exactly how these fields host hold water. It's on. We're going to let it rain here a little bit, creating a little bit of rain. Nice little shower. Pretty good soak into the field right here. And as you can see, this field has never had a puddle on it. Even in two or three inches of rain, immediately after it's done raining, this field is playable as is the rest of our fields. We do have a couple fields that we have to do about 15 minutes of squeegee work after it rains to play, but we're never within 15 minutes of playing no matter how much it rains. Can I get one of you guys to come over here? Can I take a couple ground balls right in this area where I've been watering it down, hit them a couple here on the foul line, just to show everybody that this rain is just soaking right in. Go ahead. You walk right up through here, no puddles, completely playable. And I've been ha had this Pose down here for a good two minutes now. Go ahead and run, take a couple ground balls. Walk across it for me. You can see there's just absolutely no puddles. Does not create any inability to play a baseball game. Okay, we're back here on field three. This is one of our youth baseball fields. We play a lot of nine, 10, 11, and 12 games on this field. 220 feet to center, 200 down the line, and 180 down the left field line with a big huge net. This beautiful grass outfield on this field, real grass in the outfield, we keep it watered and green all year. But the infield, as you can see, is all synthetic turf, including the fall territory. So we're gonna do a little demonstration on this field today. We got a 10 gallon Gatorade bucket full of water. Now I'm simply going to dump this here and I'm going to walk on the areas that we dump it and you can see that 10 gallons of water in an area will not keep us from playing baseball. Ten gallons of water in one area, we'll give it a few minutes and the turf will just suck it right in and we'll be playing baseball here real shortly. About 30 seconds after I dumped the pail, you can see we got a little bit of water standing, but it'll soak right in the turf, and we have absolutely no mud, and within about a minute or two, we're completely playable in this area. Right now we can play baseball right here. It's interesting to note that this field is what we call a surface drain field. So the water actually drains off the field, but on our big fields, we built them to where the water actually goes down into the turf, into the gravel, and into drain tiles, and out into the drainage ditches. As you can see this area right here, is totally playable. We could play right here on this field right now after 10 gallons of water. Okay, we're going to show you briefly our batting cages here at the main sports complex side. We have five fields north of the road and one original lens field south of the road. And we do have five batting cages here that we have created for the teams to warm up on and get ready for themselves to play their tournament games. So, Devin, go ahead and video the batting cages. As you can see, the college kids are working out here today. We'll show them its turn. Five batting cages. 
with L screens, machine pitches for um, machine pitch games, full turf surface. Perfect for getting ready. Okay, we're back here. We're going to show you a little bit of field five and field two. Field two is uh, 365 feet to center field, and field five is 335 to center. We play up to 15U on that field, and even older age groups on field two. We have a beautiful pavilion here. We've got a playground that's netted in for safety for the little ones. And field five is all turf on the infield with irrigated grass outfield, as is field two as well. Field five, built 2012. All turf infield, grass outfield. Okay, we're out here on field two, which is one of our bigger fields, and we just bought all brand new Major League Baseball regulation turf mounds for the 2014 season for all the big fields. So all the big fields will have these new 10 inch mounds with a 15 foot circumference, which is Major League dimension for the 2014 season. And we'll have these bigger mounds on all four of our full size fields. And our two youth fields will have two smaller portable turf mounds as well. So these will really add something to the older age groups for 2014. Okay, we're standing here on field six. It's one of our all synthetic turf fields. We just finished this field about a little over, a little less than a year ago. We played the entire 2013 season on it. It was a big hit here for the 15U Cabo World Series. This, along with a couple of our other big fields, we hosted a tremendous tournament in July. We were fortunate enough to get the Cabo World Series Tournament of the Year Award for 2013. We're pretty excited about that. We'll also be hosting Cava World Series and USSSA sanctioned tournaments throughout 2014. Now sometimes on our big turf fields we'll use a portable fence to shorten the field dimensions to allow games for say 10, 11, 12 year old to even play on the big fields with the portable fences. And that concludes our small interview for the day. Again, you have our website, you have our contact information. Devin Vaughn is our tournament director. I'm the owner, Tom Lenz. You can call or email us with questions anytime. We'd love to host your team in 2014. I think you'll have a great experience on playing the turf here in Jacksonville, Illinois. Thank you.